So a lot of my time is taken up by meeting people from mines, visiting mines, uh, trying to find opportunities and bursaries for students, uh, seeing what problems exist in the industry and try and help them with uh, either research projects or specific issues that we can consult with and help them solve. I'm Professor Henny Grobla, I'm the Head of Department of Mining Engineering and Mine Surveying at the University of Johannesburg. So we offer two programs in this department. The first is a Bachelor of Engineering Technology in Mining Engineering and we also offer a Bachelor of Mine Surveying. So that's two different degrees, two different courses, both in the mining field. So on the mining engineering side, we are accredited by the Engineering Council of South Africa. It's a three-year full-time degree and it's based specifically to develop people to fulfill a production role on the mine. So if you want to be a production overseer, a mine overseer or production manager, general manager of a mine, that would be the course you follow. For the mine surveying degree, we're the only degree in the Southern Africa area for mine surveyors specifically. And that course is more designed for people interested in surveying, so more the mapping and creative design side of things. A person that's interested in that qualification will end up being a mine surveyor in the mine and after some further examinations through the state will become a, a professional mine surveyor on site. This qualification specifically is uh, accredited by the South African Geomatics Council, the SAGC. So this department has got two accreditation bodies to look after. For someone to go into mining, it is something that most students will not understand until they physically go underground or into a mining environment, surface mine. A lot of our students come and say, now I've been to Gold Reef City, I've seen how it looks underground. It's not like that. <laughs> it's as simple as that. So our students need to be able to be medically fit because after you graduate and you work on a mine, you go through full medical. And if you fail that medical, you will not be able to work on the mine whatsoever. You need to have an adventurous side to you. I'd like to think that survey specifically has to have a definite creative side to it. So if you like to draw and design and build stuff from nothing, yes, that's actually a, a good field to be in because that's exactly it. We take measurements, we do a lot of hardcore engineering work, but that engineering work needs to be creatively and uh, presented in a way that people who are not engineers can understand it and read it and look at it. What we don't find enough is that people forget about Africa and our students should see Africa as a, as a good bed to, to develop into. Um, there's a huge shortage skill of, of mining professionals in Africa in general. Major companies support us and they support us very well. Sibanya Stillwaters is one of our, our biggest supporters. Anglo-American, uh, Anglo-American Platinum, which is now a little bit smaller than they used to be. Ixaro, um, the coal mining companies, uh, the beers to a certain extent, Petra Mining definitely, Sassol. So there's a Glencore, there's a lot of uh, large mining companies and the beauty of the mining companies are most of the senior executives in that group are our alumni but of course there's place for entrepreneurship as well and we're finding more and more small uh, black owned companies from our own students that actually started up coal mining companies or consultation firms. So in aligning with the institutions drive for industry four and uh, including new technology in the curriculum. One of the main focuses that we've taken to try and replace practical training that happens on the mines is we've, we're developing a virtual reality center in one of our laboratories where we can take students via a virtual reality experience where they can walk underground into a platinum mine and do things like inspect uh, for the roof for safety, take temperature measurements, ventilation measurements uh, in a virtual environment and we can actually assess them on that. 
We've got a virtual blast wall, which is a, a large three meter by two meter wall where the guys learn how to mark and place explosives and actually blast in a virtual environment. So everything happens exactly like it would underground except there's no damage to the rock. And we're also building a simulation mine uh, through the Sibania funding in the basement of one of our buildings. When that is complete, it will be a 36 meter high shaft, six by six meter shaft, where students will actually enter a mine and walk underground and we'll have about 180 meters of tunnels in which the students can then um, do practical work and we're also using it for, um, for practical training in the laboratories. So that's the one side. Then we're using stuff like the drones, um, small little drone like this one, that we teach the students to um, survey topography and, and do volumetric surveys. We use laser scanners. And with the laser scanner, we're not only scanning stuff on the mines for students to see in the virtual reality center, but we've actually now started working with other departments and other faculties where we're scanning things and we can actually put it in a 3D environment for them so that students can actually experience it in virtual reality. Hi, my name is Talita Kolen. I'm currently doing my third year mind surveying studies at UJ. Um, I come from Rustenburg, which most people know is a very big on mining town, um, which kind of led to the thing of going into mind surveying Honestly, I must say for this course, it has been a blast. My name is Kidumete Mokaila. I'm from Rustenburg. I'm currently studying mine survey. I'm doing my final year, third year, and I was good in math and science. So I thought, why not? Because it was male dominated. And most of the time I was told that I wouldn't be able to do it. But here I am. We've turned 120 years old uh, two years ago. So it's been a very long and well-established qualification. It's a qualification that you can work anywhere in the world. You can pick where you want to work. <laughs>